Hello everyone, my name is Jivesh and we are back with the second video of this answer writing, uh, main answer writing series. In the first video, we have discussed about the tourism policy. Uh, we have seen the various facets of it. We have seen ecotourism, we have seen tourism diversification and many other things related to, uh, related to tourism. So in this today's uh, video, particularly we are going to see some of the important schemes, initiatives which are related to tourism in Himachal Pradesh or otherwise the central sector scheme which are also applicable in Himachal Pradesh or implemented in Himachal Pradesh in order to develop or enhance the tourism, right? Other than that, we will also see some ecotourism uh, activities in Himachal. Uh, we will first see what is ecotourism and ecotourism and its role in sustainable development of the state, how it can contribute in the sustainable development of the state. So that is the, uh, uh, these are the topics that we are going to discuss today. So without wasting any time, uh, let us start. So first of all, we have uh, initiatives and uh, schemes. So the first initiative or the first scheme that uh, we will see is your Nai Rahe Nai Manjile, right? So the scheme, the Nai Rahe Nai Manjile was launched in 2018-19 in the, uh, uh, the scheme was put forward in the budget, I suppose, uh, if I'm not wrong. So the budget of 2018-19, uh, this new scheme related to tourism development has been uh, introduced in Himachal Pradesh. C50 uh, crore of uh, the total outlay or the total uh, budget has been provided to this scheme in order to provide more facilities to the tourist visitors and the department has developed the following places from tourism point of view under this scheme. So, this scheme ke under uh, there were various places in Himachal Pradesh which are to be developed under Nai Rahen Nai Manzile scheme. So, let us see them uh, one by one. So, the first is. Just a second. Okay, right. So we are back. Uh, so the first uh, place uh, that are going to be developed under uh, under Nai Rahe Nai Manzile is Billing. Billing is in District Kangra, uh, which is a famous paragliding destination. Other than that, Chanchal Chanchal is in District Shimla is a ski destination. Third is Jinjali in Mandi District to be developed as an eco tourism destination. Very important. Fourth is infrastructure for promotion of water sports activities at Largi. Largi is situated on the border of Kullu and Mandi, Tattapani which is in Mandi and Pong Dam which is in Kangra, right. Other than this paragliding dest uh, destination at Safe Jagas district Sirmaur and ecotourism Chudhar from Noradhar valleys. So Chudhar valleys and Noradhar valleys and Safe Jagas this place in district Sirmaur, these are, uh, these are to be developed uh, from the <coughs> point of view of paragliding, right. Tourism related to public facilities at both ends of Atal Tunnel. Uh, at Rotang, right? Construction of Shiv Dham, this is in Mandi. Construction of Shiv Dham, which is in Mandi district. So, these are some of the few places which are to be developed under uh, this uh, Nai Rahe Nai Manzile scheme, right? We will move on to our next scheme. So, the second scheme uh, is a central sector one. So, in Swadesh Darshan scheme, the Government of India Ministry of Tourism has sanctioned Swadesh Darshan scheme in the year 2017 for Himachal Pradesh. However, uh, the scheme has been launched in 2014-15, right? But uh, for Himachal Pradesh, the scheme has been sanctioned in 2017 and the following projects uh, under the scheme are to be developed in Himachal Pradesh. Let us see them one by one. Construction of Convention Center at Kiari Ghat, which is in Solan. Construction of Heliport at Shimla. Beautification of Dal Lake in Kangada. Village Heart in Kangada. International Standard. Free Standing Artificial Climbing Wall. Very important. Light and Sound light and sound show at town square at the mall Shimla, right? Construction of paragliding center at bead billing in district Kangra. Other than that, art and craft center Bhalai Mata temple, this is in Chamba. Uh, the ninth one is your development of Ma Hateshwari temple at Hartkoti in Shimla. Other than this, sicknesses, gannetries, CCTV, Wi-Fi to the entire circuit, right? The tourist circuit in Himachal Pradesh, everywhere, the signboards or the uh, the big sign boards or the pamphlets or the uh, CCTVs are to be installed under this scheme. So this is basically a scheme to develop uh, holistically the tourism sector of Himachal Pradesh. So this is very important. This is to be asked or you can write it in uh, your main answer writing as well. Uh, the next scheme is interest subvention scheme, right? So interest subvention is uh, uh, rebate on interest rates during the COVID-19. You see during COVID-19 more than 100% of decline has been seen in the uh, tourism of the state uh, or the tourist arrivals in the state. So this scheme has been, uh, uh, you see, notified by the government of Himachal Pradesh as interest subvention scheme on working loan capital, right? Hospitality industry, 
on 2nd of July 2020, right? So this is basically a rebate scheme in which rebate is to be given in uh, the interest rates. Rebates is to be given in the interest rates. So the revised interest subvention scheme was notified in 2021 and valid up to 2022. So this is a scheme basically to benefit the uh, hospitality industry, the people indulged in the hospitality industry, which has seen a great, uh, you can see uh, who suffered a great loss due to the uh, COVID-19 pandemic, right? So uh, immediately after the COVID-19, the scheme has been uh, notified by the state government, which has provided them some uh, benefits, right? Other than this, the government is uh, doing a lot of publicity about the tourism department of the state, about the tourist destination of the state through various brochures, pamphlets, folders, monal magazine, calendar, guide maps, coffee table books, etc. So uh, this is just a, uh, uh, you can see the promotional aspect of the uh, tourism of the state in order to attract more and more tourists, right? So these are the various schemes which are to be uh, developed in Himachal Pradesh, right? After this, we will uh, go on to a uh, conference, right? Dharamshala Declaration. So it is a very important conference. Uh, you see, uh, the last, uh, last time Nayab Tasildar exam has held in 2023. The mains of this exam is held in February 2023. In that exam, this question has been asked about Dharamshala Declaration. So we will see what is Dharamshala Declaration all about. So Dharamshala Declaration is a uh, national conference of the tourism ministers of the state, right? So. Uh, the aim of the conference is to make India a global leader in tourism by 2047. So this is an important thing. It also can be asked in the prelims exam as well. Uh, it was adopted at the end of three-day national conference of the state tourism ministers in Dharamshala in 2022. Very important, right? So it is a national conference of the state tourism ministers. So there are some declaration of some goals which are to be achieved in the Dharamshala declaration. Uh, these goals were identified or the declared or you can say declared. So we will see what are the different goals. First is sustainable tourism. We have already talked about it in the previous video. So sustainable tourism is to develop sustainable and responsible to, uh, tourism destination across the country, including the uh, Himachal Pradesh, the state of Himachal Pradesh, right? Second is our foreign exchange. So earning 56 billion US dollar foreign exchange up to 2030 from tourism sector only, right? This is from tourism only. This is from tourism only. Right. So third is to uh, enhance the tourism GDP contributing 250 billion US dollar to India's GDP from tourism by 2030. The total GDP of India out of which 250 billion USD <coughs> are to be attracted from the tourism sector, uh, tourism sector alone. Right. Next is our tourism jobs creating 137 million jobs in the tourism sector. Very important. Foreign to tourist arrival increasing foreign tourist arrivals to 56 million. Right, so this is another uh, goal to be achieved and uh, 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 sorry to be uh, achieved in the future, and it has been identified in the Dharanchala Declaration. Right. So next is our promoting tourism, promoting various tourist circuits, including the Himalayan circuit and the Ambedkar circuit. Right. So Himalayan circuit include the various states starting from the north, that is Jammu and Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand. Other than that, the northeastern state, which uh, are part of Himalayan, uh, Himalayan mountain system okay, or uh, Himalayas, right? So Ambedkar circuit is a different thing here. Ambedkar circuit is basically, uh, these are the five places across the country where uh, Dr. Bhim Rao Ambedkar, where Dr. Bhim Rao Ambedkar has spent his life or uh, done some marvelous works during, uh, marvelous works during his life. So that is an uh, Ambedkar circuit. Uh, it starts from his birthplace, that is Mao. Okay, so Delhi is in it. Uh, Mumbai is, I think, part of it. So like that, so Ambedkar Tourist Circuit and Himalayan Circuit, these are to be developed under the uh, Dharanchala Declaration uh, that was posted in 2022. The declaration also aims to recognize India's role in global tourism by uh, to promote the domestic tourism, right? Okay, so uh, next is Ecotourism and Sustainable Development. See. Uh, what is ecotourism? We have already discussed about it in the previous video. So uh, what is the role of ecotourism in the sustainable development of the state or the country that we will see in this particular video. So uh, let us see. So first is the definition of ecotourism. You see, uh, ecotourism is a form of responsible travel that focuses on exploring the natural environments while minimizing the negative impacts on ecosystem and supporting the conservation efforts, right? So ecotourism is basically to uh, uh, you can see, uh, I will not see to increase the tourism, but to enhance the tourist activities 
in such a manner uh, so that it has a minimal impact right it has a minimal impact on the surroundings or the environment right including environment it should also have a minimum negative impact on the society minimum negative economic impact minimum negative economic impact so this is basically the philosophy of ecotourism so ecotourism is a, uh, a potential sector of tourism uh, that we see in himachal pradesh so uh, in ecotourism uh, we see uh, ecotourism often involves activities such as hiking bird watching wildlife safaris right so these are some of the activities which are uh, a part of ecotourism and that we uh, uh enjoys in the uh, going into the areas which are unexplored which are uh, the places which are less visited by the people before this right but that in a positive manner so that it has a minimum harm on the environment or support the conservation of the both flora and fauna of the uh, surroundings right so uh, this is basically ecotourism so next we will see that what is the impact of ecotourism on the sustainable development of the state so there are various uh, uh, impacts we can say so first is our environmental conservation ecotourism encourages the preservation of natural habitats natural habitats of the uh, fauna that is being found in the uh, in the uh, uh, you can say the uh, places or the unexplored places where uh, the visitors go so the natural habitats of the fauna these are to be conserved that actually uh, Uh, corresponds to the environmental conservation right promoting responsible travel practices within the sensitive areas there are certain areas like the national parks like the wildlife sanctuaries so these are sensitive areas which are which serves as a natural habitat to various species of both flora as well as fauna so environmental conservation is an important aspect that promote uh, that is being promoted by the ecotourism so the second one is community empowerment very important the local community or the host community uh, where the visitors are going so ecotourism can provide economic opportunities to them right so this is a very important uh, a major point that is to be discussed in it so economic opportunities or the income generation opportunities to be provided to the uh, locals uh, of that region leading to improved livelihoods of leading to uh, leading to their improved livelihoods right third is your education and awareness so this is another aspect of ecotourism which is uh, very much helpful in the sustainable development ecotourism often include educational components educational components like the local environment the wildlife of the uh, region where they are visiting the cultural practices of the local people and raising awareness about uh, among the tourist about the conservation need why conservation uh, uh, is necessary or you can say why conservation uh need to be done so these are some of the educational aspects that uh, are also part of ecotourism and that helps in the sustainable development of the state right uh next is your fourth one that is sustainable practices ecotourism promotes the use of eco friendly accommodation right eco friendly accommodations transportation facilities which are eco friendly waste management practices and minimize the environmental footprint right so this is a sustainable model of tourism that is to be developed in order to uh Uh, sustainably develop or uh, we see the sdg the goals that has been identified by uh, identified in 2015 the sustainable development goal those are those are the goals which are to be achieved through uh, uh, these kind of activities right so after this the next contribution that the ecotourism provides in the sustainable development is the cultural exchange people of various cultures of various parts of uh, national if it is a domestic traveler then the various part of the country if it is an international traveler then the various parts of the world so they meet each other they uh, shares their uh, culture they share their values so that is a very uh, culture uh, that is a very culturally uh, rich thing to do you see interaction between the local communities allowing tourists to learn about their customs their traditions and fostering the mutual respect among them so that is a very uh, you can say a, a, a matter of harmony as well you see uh, and uh, the cultural exchange is also a good thing to have through tourism right other than this there are uh, some examples uh, which have been quoted visiting a national parks to observe wildlife on a guided natural walk going to a national park having a natural walk that also corresponds to ecotourism staying in eco friendly lodges which are uh, which is a modern trend you see in himachal pradesh various uh, various places in himachal pradesh uh, the various eco friendly lodges are also being uh, also being installed or being established 
So uh, uh, these are to be operated by the local communities, right? Participating in community-based activities like bird watching. These are community-based activities in which the local community, the people, they are also involved. The bird watching tours or the traditional handicraft workshops. This is a very important point. Through ecotourism, we can also uh, uh, you see the small-scale industry in Himachal Pradesh. We will not say, uh, say that it is fully developed, but at least there are certain products which are uh, like the GI tagged items from Himachal, which are handicraft items or the uh, handloom items like the Kullu shawl, like the uh, uh, you see uh, Kullu shawl and uh, one more is your uh, Kullu shawl uh, that is Kangra tea which is a local uh, tea grown over here. Other than that, there is uh, this black cumin uh, from Kinor, which has been uh, given GI tag. Other than that, there are various, uh, I'm forgetting one of the uh, handloom products from Himachal. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I, I apologize. Uh, there is one more product. So you see, there are various products uh, from Himachal Pradesh, which are GI tagged and which had some uh, great quality as well as some uh, great significance to the people of the Himachal. So uh, these products are to be mar uh, marketized over uh, the country or internationally in that uh, role. Tourism is a very important thing to have. Through tourism, we can promote them. We can provide them market. We can uh, sustain the livelihoods of the people who are selling them, the local people who are providing the ecotourism facilities. So uh, these are basically uh, the various, uh, you see, uh, the aspects of the ecotourism and how ecotourism is uh, helpful in uh, the sustainable development of the states. That is all for today. Thank you.